ADA Dependent Inspiration app here. So there's been a new version of the ATA Checker Client that has been released. This is version 1.0.2.4. If you want to find out what the details of this release is, you can just come to the ATA post, click on the link here, and you will see all the updates that are there for this particular version. If you come to the application as well, the app dashboard, you would also see that there is the same version 1.0.24, both for the Linux clients and for the Windows operating system. Now today, I'm going to take you through how you can update this if you are using a CLI Linux, for instance, on the VP clients now to begin with the updates as always you would have to connect to your console i'm not going to show you how to do this because i believe by now if you're running your ATA checker node at vps you are a master on how to connect to the console now in my case i'm running several nodes i'm running two nodes currently on my vps i'm running curve and i'm running ATA. so first what i'm going to do is we have to enter the screen that is running curve and this is why i always sorry running ATA. and this is why i always highly recommend that do not kill the screen that is running the application because it gets easier if you want to get back into the application and make some changes to the application now, so when I type screen minus hyphen ls, it could be that in your case, you have just one screen, so it'll be a bit easy. You see that I have two screens that are running. I have the ATA screen and I have the CAV screen. Now, the changes that we're going to be making is on the ATA screen, on the ATA application. So just type in screen hyphen arrow space and then type in the name of the screen. So here, you type it exactly as you have it with a case sensitive, if it's capital or if it's a small letter. So I'm going to type screen ATA, screen minus R ATA and just press enter. Now, you see that I'm logging into the application. So I haven't prepped this, so it could be that I'll, I'll face some challenges, but it's good that I'm doing this with you and you can also learn how we're going to fix this together. The ATA application itself should have an inbuilt auto update function which you can just update the application with just one command. I'm going to try this now. If it works, then the video will be very short. If it doesn't work, then we're going to go through the long process of updating the client. Now, if you want to find out which version of the application that you are running, just type in the command ATA space version and then press enter. And then you see that it tells you that you're running the version. So currently, in my case, I'm running version 1.0.2.3. Now, if you want to date using the auto update function. If this should work, you can just use the command ATA update. Now I'm curious if this is going to work out. I'm just going to press enter. And then here, basically, you're supposed to type Y for yes, that you want to do the update or no, and that you don't want to do that. So I'm just going to press Y. <laughs> yeah, I'm very curious and nervous if this is going to work. Now let's do this together. I'm going to press Y, and then you see it didn't work out. <laughs> so it tells me it's how many it's called without an active exception, and this is about it. I'm so sorry. It means that now we have to go through the long process of updating the clients. So I couldn't prep this part because it's, it just came as an impulse, but I'm going to take you through this, and I'm, I'm going to provide it. So I'm going to be editing my Medium post with you as we go through. And pardon me if it gets a bit longer, but as you saw, the update didn't work out, and that's why this is the best way that I can try to help you out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have to leave the screen. There are two ways that you can leave the screen you can press Ctrl A, right, and press K, and this would kill the application. So it tells me that when I wouldn't whether I want to kill the screen. And then here, when you look down here, right, I'm just going to press Y to kill the screen. And then you see that my screen has been killed. So if I press screen hyphen LS like we did before, you see that I have only the curve that is run. So in my tutorial, I, always, I sometimes suggested that you use the application P kill screen. Right, but be very careful with this command because if you have other nodes that you are running or other screens that you are running, this would basically kill all the screens that are running. In my case, I didn't use this because I have CAV already running. If you have, if there's another way that you can do this, you can also use, like I also have in my Medium post here, you can use this particular command screen space hyphen XX, XS. And then the screen ID, the screen ID is going to be the ID that you would have here. So in my case, if it was to be the curve, this would be 29796 and then quits. And then it would basically kill the application. Now, what is also very important that we have to do is that you can't have two instances of the checker clients running. So I think up here, I also show the process that you can kill the ATA checker clients. So I'm just going to make sure if this is running. I don't, I'm not sure if the client closed after I kill the screen. So I'm going to type PS minus E and then I'm going to scroll through. So this basically shows you all the processes that are running. OK, so it looks good in my case. So I only have the ATA checker service that is running. This looks good because when I kill the screen, the application or the checker client was running in the screen and that's why when I killed it, it basically killed the application and that's very good. If you press the PS minus E and then you, you see ATA checker CL, which is a software of the client running, then you can just use the application kill 
or the command kill then you're going to insert the process id so for instance if i wanted to kill this one i would just use the id 38418 enter and this would kill the process now it's very important that you do this because you can have two instances of the checker clients running i saw a lot of users having errors like segmentation fault or something like that or the app is already running if you have this then it means that the checker client is already running so you can do so now to begin this is a very very i mean optional step you can delete all the old application that you have currently on your server so to do this for instance you can use this command here so the command is rm space minus rf now the folder is going to be different depending on where you are so in my case for instance you want to see which kind of folders that you have in your cases type in ls and then you can see in my case i didn't even delete the older application so i have the checker version 1.2.0 minus as tar this is a zip file over there and i also have this folder there right and i also have the version 1.0.2.3 so if i want to delete this i'm just going to copy this command here i'm going to come in here i'm going to right click and this command would basically delete this folder that i have here right so if you do not have this folder just make sure that you if yours for instance ends with an as or eu just make sure that you adapt the name of the file when i type this command and i type the command again ls you see that it basically deletes the older the older file that i had there i'm going to do the same thing for the other command so i'm going to type rm space minus rf and then space and then i'm going to so in putty if you're using putty disadvantage whenever you highlight in putty it basically copies and then you come to the command line right click and then press enter and this deletes the file i'm going to do the same thing for this one as well i'm going to copy this i'm going to come here i'm going to use rm space minus rf space right click and then this would also delete the file so here all we are doing like i said it's not you don't have to do it i just like to do it just to remove unnecessary files from my server so when i type the ls command you see that currently all the ATA downloads are gone in my case i still have the verifier which i'm not going to touch because this is the carve node that is running now what we're going to do is we're going to now start with the downloading of the software so the software is called the command that we're going to use to download the software is called wget so here i'm also going to provide this in the blog post come here copy but here it depends on your location so what you're going to do is type wget here space come to the app dashboard click on download checker clients right click and then choose copy link address because the link might be different depending on your location so i'm in eu so i'm most likely going to get an eu link so when i click on this come back into the console right click and then you see that it basically pastes everything that you have there so currently you see that it's going to be downloading the version 1.0.2.4 and i'm going to press enter and then you see that the file has been downloaded so now that the file has been downloaded what we have to do is we have to unzip the file so i'm trick so i'm taking my time to explain everything so that even when i don't produce a new video on how to update you would be able to do this now to to extract the file we're going to use the command tar minus x minus v so you can also just copy this here copy so the folder here is from the old version that's why i'm not using this and i'm going to paste this in here space but whenever you are doing this i would have updated the medium post with all the things that you're going to need i'm going to copy this going to come here i'm going to right click i'm going to paste this in and i'm going to press enter and this would basically unzip the file that we downloaded so now we have zipped the file the next thing that we're going to have to do is to run a screen that is called ata or the screen that is called ata i'm pretty sure that you have installed screen on your pc but if on your server if you're not sure you can just use this command here to install screen in my case it's not going to do anything if there's an update it might install the update version of the screen so it sees that it says that the screen is already running the latest version so you don't need to do this now what we're going to do is we're going to create a screen that is called ATA so I'm just going to come here right click press enter and then it basically creates a new space for me to work and then here we're going to have to change it into the directory that is containing the application so just type ls space and then you see that the application is called this so the folder is called this so to get into it just type cd space I'm going to copy this here i'm going to come here i'm going to paste so like i said in putty if you want to copy just highlight whatever you whenever you highlight and you leave the keyboard it basically copies whatever you highlighted into the clipboard and then when you want to paste it just right click and paste this in there and then here i'm going to press enter so now we have entered into the folder that contains the application what is very important is that we're going to have to run this install script to basically update or install the new service for the application i'm going to copy this command here I'm going to come into the clients and I'm going to paste this and I'm going to press enter. So it happens sometimes. I do not know what medium does to my command. Sometimes it doesn't make it work, but I'm going to try to correct this before I create a medium post. The command that we basically need is sudo dot forward slash install dot sh and then press enter. So if you do have the the error that i had it's just because medium sometimes tries to auto correct the text that i put in there, but I'm going to try to fix this before 
I created a video but if you do have this problem just type in the command manually so now the screen has been installed what we're going to do now is to reload the ATA checker service now to do so just copy the command that we have here come into the console right click and then just press enter so the command didn't work what I wanted to do was to reload specifically the ATA service but this is fine it's not going to work Oh, it's not working. I'll find out later why it's not working. But you can also just use this command to reload all the services that are running. Just come into the console and paste this in. And then when you come back to the command prompt, it means that your services has been restarted. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to launch the application by using this command here. Come into the console, right click and press enter. And because we already had a wallet embedded, we don't need to do any wallet delegation accepting of delegation and stuff like that. Now, if you want to see if the update was successfully, just press the type in the command eight here version, press enter. And then you see that it tells me that now I'm at version 1.0.2.4, which means that everything is working well. Now to check if your license is also working, use the command eight here license summary, then press enter. And then you see that one of my lines, so I have only one license and you can see that this is checking. So which means that we were able to update the node. Now before leave, before leaving the screen or before closing the putty or whatever application that you're using, like I always say, just press Control A, D and then this would minimize the screen. If you want to come back into the screen, if that is the only screen that you are using, you can use the command screen minus R. This would bring you back into the I have two screens that is not that's why this is not working but if you had only one screen this would bring you back into the screen if you have several screens like i do you can just use screen minus r and then you type the name of the screen so my case minus eta and then this would bring me back into the application so i'm going to minimize this and then with that thanks for watching this video if you have any questions about the update just put this in the comment section like the video subscribe to my channel to get more like this and see you in the next one bye